Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video about how to make an assignment in Canvas and then attach a rubric to it for grading. Now I always like to create my assignments in the modules tab. So here I am in my first unit foundations and I want to create, let's say an essay assignment. Now to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to press the plus button that's right here. And then there will be a screen that pops up and asks what I want to add to my module. Now I want to add an assignment, which is the first thing here, but if you have added something else recently, it might automatically toggle to that option. So I pick assignment. Now here are assignments I've already created in case I have it created and I want to drop it in my module. But for us, we're starting from scratch. So I'm going to say new assignment. And so let's say this is my unit one essay. Now you can choose if you want to indent it or not, depending on how you're aligning things in your modules. I typically like to indent one and my titles are not indented. So I'll add that item. You'll see that will drop to the bottom right here. We see it's indented the one level. It's not published yet because it's not with the green check mark. So now that I've created this placeholder for this assignment, I click on it. When this opens up, right now it doesn't tell much of anything. You will then click the edit button here. And now I can add more details about this essay. Depending on how much information, you have a text box here that you can give directions for the assignment. So for example, you could type the directions here. If you want to get more involved, you can add other things right here, such as videos and media and pictures and other things that you may or may not need to add. As you scroll down, there's a few other things you just need to click along the way. Now points, if you're going to be adding a rubric to this afterwards and using the rubric for scoring, technically it doesn't matter what you put here because when we add the rubric, it'll take those points. The next thing you want to do is pick an assignment group. Now this is important for grading as this is going to put it in the correct grading bucket based on your standards based course. So for my essay, we are going to call that historical writing. Now I always like to change this next thing from points to letter grade. What that will do in the grade book is change it from saying uh, three out of four perhaps to saying the word competent. And so I want the words competent to show up versus them thinking about the mathematical conversion to the old percentages. I want them to see the proficiency scale that we're using. So I change that to letter grade. I'm gonna have them turn this in online so I can switch it to online here. And typically I will click one of these two options which would be a website URL, so it's a Google Drive file, or you can pick from your Google Drive to do a file upload, which is the easiest way to do this. A lot of other options that you can skip, and then you can decide where you're gonna assign this to, and maybe the due date you can add on here. So let's say I have this due on the 5th of October, and I'm gonna hit save. When this comes up now, we have those de details, the directions here, how they can submit it, and who it's available for and when it's due. Now to push plus rubric is where we're gonna add the rubric. Now you can either build your own rubric from your outcomes. Outcomes are those standards that you set up. Or if you have one already built in your course, you can find the rubric up in the upper right. So let's say for me, for AP World History, it's an LEQ rubric, a long essay question rubric. You can scroll down and there'll be a button to say, attach this rubric on the bottom. You can't quite see it, but it is there. So I say, use this rubric. And so now we see that there are four different standards that are attaching to this assignment, and then we should be good to go. But the one last really important part that you're gonna do here is you're gonna click this icon right here. And when you scroll to the bottom, you need to and must do, and I've made this mistake before, click the button that says, use this rubric for assignment grading. Some people will grade and give points and then give kind of a learning mastery grade. Well, we want the learning mastery grade uh, the standards to be how we're grading this. So we want to click that rubric. Otherwise, you would have to enter points and that will mean one thing and then you will measure the standards and that will mean something else. It's not how we're doing it in Appleton. You want to click the button that says use this rubric for assignment grading. You hit update. It's going to say, hey, your original assignment was zero points and the rubric says 16. Do you want to change it? Yes, I do. And so here we are, we have our assignment. And then the last thing you have to do is just hit publish. This will make this live for students, which I just did for my students. And now they can do this unit one essay and we can then grade it using the LEQ rubric. Now we'll watch another video in the future about how to use the speed grader to make this really smooth. 
But as we said in this video, this is how you set up an assignment and how you add a rubric. And again, make sure that you're clicking that box at the end to say, use this rubric for grading. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact your tech coach. Thank you.